Hello and welcome to the Critical Curious. In today's Warband video, we're going to be talking about weapons and what I would consider uh, your best setup for running your game in general. That's, you know, being multitask, so attacking castles, going about uh, doing your, your, you know, your on horseback raids, that kind of deal. And what I find works best for me. Now, where I come from is a at least a couple of hundred hours of actual gameplay. I've played this game an awful lot. I absolutely love it. I am, however, on the console, so I am playing native. Um, so I don't have any mods, so anyone that's on the PC, this video may not be for you, but I'm going to tell you what my best and favorite setup is. Now, this game has an awful lot of different types of weapons within it, um, and they come in a variety of different qualities as well. Uh, if you can get yourself the best quality weapons, you're going to get better stats on them. The masterwork weapons are the best in the game, and they are very hard to to find they normally have some high requirements um, and they cost an awful lot of money as well but if you can get yourself some master masterwork weapons that is where you're going to have the most fun now there's one-handed weapons and there's two-handed weapons now while i started off playing the game with a classic sword and shield in practicality I found that the the short sword or the one-handed sword or the one-handed axe uh, is just simply too slow. Um, now, they definitely have their benefits. The axes can chop down shields a lot faster. So when you're kind of attacking castles, in theory, uh, you're going to be able to get through a lot of those castle defenders quite quickly. And while in theory having a sword and shield is totally practical because so you're able to defend yourself, you're able to put in a few hits, for me, like I said, it is just too slow. I play this game an awful lot. I've put a lot of hours into it. And when it comes to castle raids or me on horseback, I kind of want to get the fight done as soon as possible because that is not the only fight I'm going to be doing today. So I want to kill the enemy as quick as possible while retaining as much health as possible. So before I show you exactly why it is I've chosen a setup I have, I'm going to show you an actual an actual couple of raids so you can see exactly what I mean. Um, if you enjoy Warband videos and want to see more of them, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and of course comment your thoughts down below. Now, Warband is a very old game and the reason i'm doing these videos is because i noticed that not a lot of people are actually making fresh content for this game and it's a game that i've repeatedly picked up over the years but it seems to be one that people just aren't covering so i'm hoping that this series of videos is going to help new players alike and um, to kind of you know get into the game understand what's going on and of course know that there is a community out there that they can kind of get in contact with if they want help and support to that effect, I also have an active and growing Discord, so if you guys want to jump in, talk about Warband or any game in general, the link will be down in the description and everyone is more than welcome. Now, as you may have seen in the beginning now, I am currently using a Masterwork Shortened Military Sword. Um, this happens to be, in my opinion, the best weapon that I have found that works for me in the game. Um, it currently has 50 damage on cut, which is just mad damage. That's very, very high damage. And it has a good speed at 91 as well and a good reach at 112, meaning that I can attack people and hit people from further back. If they're using a little sword, for instance, they're going to have to come in close to me in order to actually hit me which is why I quite like it. The other weapon I use is a siege crossbow. Now, the reason I use a siege crossbow instead of a crossbow is the extra damage. You do considerably more damage with the siege crossbow than you do the regular bot crossbow. Now, I understand you can't use the siege crossbow on horseback. However, for me, that's not a problem. I don't want to be using my crossbow on horseback anyway. I want to ride into battle, uh, cutting people down with my two-handed sword. Um, just to give you some idea of the amount of damage difference, the regular 
um, crossbow will do around 30 damage, 34 damage. You can get better ones, you can get worse ones, certainly. But the siege crossbow does 63 damage. Again, you can get better and you can get worse, but that's what my one does. Uh, and I'm able to use that in castle raids where I can find myself a nice position and just, you know, fire off as many bolts as I can, especially if I've got low health. Now, with the crossbows, and the way it attacks it does depend greatly on when and how you actually hit the target that you're attacking um, with the setup i currently have remembering you can actually get better um better ammunition as well from certain places you can get ammunition that actually does um higher damage i'm currently using a large bag of steel bolts and that does a plus two damage but depending on where you actually hit the target, depend it depends on the damage you actually get. Obviously, if you hit them in the head, it's going to do a lot more damage. But in general, you are looking at two bolts per target to drop them and kill them out of the game, which works out pretty well because you come into the battle with a decent sized bag, meaning that you can effectively kill a good size amount of people and actually help turn the tide of your battle. So with the two-handed weapon and, of course, the siege crossbow, not forgetting the bolts taking up that extra slot, that leaves us one more slot. Now, I've practiced with a few different weapons. I kind of liked having a pole arms for a while for when I was doing the, you know, on horseback battles. I've gone for the one-handed sword as well to go, you know, to kind of, so I can actually defend myself when I'm having to use my shield. But most of the time, I'm just using my shield. So I kind of dropped that. So we've just got the two-handed handed sword, the crossbow with the bolts and then we've got ourselves a decent uh, shield i find you kind of need that shield because when you are either on the siege tower or running up the ladders you are going to get attacked by the you know by the bowmen either side of you it's a good idea to have that shield for that protection but as you can see here right now if i find myself a good little spot it's kind of a one hit kill with my weapon um, and that's going up against people with armor or non-armored. You've got the lower end units and higher end units. And my sword and my weapons do considerable damage. Now, of course, in this current playthrough, I've been going for quite a while. Therefore, I've had access to some of the better weapons in the game. Um, but I find this loadout works absolutely amazingly for me. I've never really gone into a battle and thought, oh no, I'm out, you know, out weaponed, out gunned. Um, I've always been able to take care of whatever I needed to do. Bear in mind, however, when you first pick up a crossbow, when you first pick up a two-handed weapon within this game, your proficiency really does matter. Um, so currently, I have a 290 proficiency in two-handed weapons, I believe, and around 120, 125 proficiency in crossbows. So the way it works for you is going to work a little bit differently. If you don't have that high proficiency, it's not going to be as good for you. But I hope that helps. I've had a couple of people comment asking me, you know, about kind of weapon loadouts and stuff like that. So I figured I'd show you guys what it is I do use. Of course, your playthrough could be completely different. You might not be going for a warrior uh, type of class and therefore a two-handed weapon may not work for you because you're not going to have the strength to even use that weapon. The same with a siege crossbow. But that's what works for me. Let me know down in the comments what your current loadout is. Be very interested to know how you play the game as well. And I'm going to look to try and uh, continue continue the warband series um, and of course continue the making a kingdom series as well so until next time guys i've been a monk we've been the chris and i'll see you in the next video real soon until then take it easy